Picture this, a vast digital landscape where we navigate a complex terrain of information, connection, and potential danger. In a world where every click and keystroke leaves a trace of us behind, digital citizenship has become as vital as the air we breathe. But what is digital citizenship? Well, it refers to the responsible and ethical use of technology, specifically the internet, by any individual. It is crucial for creating a positive environment online and to prevent things like cyberbullying, hate speech, and online identity theft. Some key aspects of digital citizenship are digital literacy, so we actually know and understand about the technology we have, digital etiquette, so we can respect ourselves online with other people, and finally, online safety and security, so we can protect ourselves from other malicious software and links online. But these days, most people don't practice digital citizenship. Why? Because of anonymity. The anonymity offered by the internet. Studies have proven that humans tend to show heightened levels of cruel and unethical behavior if they're anonymous. A prime example of this is a website called 4chan. Created by Christopher Poole in 2003, 4chan is a website where anyone can post anything they want, all while being completely anonymous. But the anonymity the website offers has often been misused and abused by criminals. For example, in October of 2015, a user posted on 4chan warning students not to go to university the next day. Mere hours later, there was a shooting in Oregon State University College. And the worst part is that other users were actually encouraging the killer all because they were completely anonymous. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. A website like 4chan is accessible to anyone whenever they want. What if we go a bit deeper? The dark web. Only accessed with special software and often associated with anonymity and privacy, privacy, the dark web is a place most known for black market transactions such as drugs, illegal weapons, organ trafficking, and not to mention hacking. Here's a question. Have any of you ever been hacked before or maybe got a computer virus? I certainly have. Hackers mainly deploy three main types of viruses into your system. These are mainly spyware, trojanware, and ransomware. Spyware, being pretty self explanatory, basically infiltrates your system and sends all your information to the hacker discreetly without causing any major damage. Now, have you guys heard about the Trojan host story? You know it, right? Well, that's how a Trojanware works. It disguises itself as an innocent-looking file and sneaks into your system, then destroys it from the inside, just like in the story. And now, finally, we have ransomware. This virus encrypts all of your data, no matter what it is, and then asks for a specific amount of ransom for it to be let free. I actually got one of these when I was about nine years old. I was surfing the internet, and because I was naive, I downloaded a random file. It was a ransomware. It encrypted all of my files, and I lost everything that I was working on at that time, including game development projects, passwords, logins, all of that. You can see that the internet is a dangerous place. So, how do we protect ourselves from the dangers online? Well, the most basic form of protection is an antivirus. Let's say you get hacked and you download the virus. An antivirus can quickly disable it and then delete it before it causes any major damage. And even if it does, an antivirus can quickly repair it with all the built-in scripts it has. As another line of protection definitely helps, such as a VPN. A VPN, or a virtual private network, basically masks your IP address and then sends it to another one of another, another server. So even if you do get your IP leaked, it's not your actual IP getting leaked. And I'm sure you have heard a lot online about people getting their IP addresses leaked online and how dangerous it can be. A VPN can protect you from all those IP leaks that happen very common. And now finally we have VMs. VMs or virtual machines are any, is any software or emulation service that basically simulates another computer on top of your existing computer. Meaning you can have two computers running different operating systems on the same piece of hardware. 
hackers absolutely love this machine because I'm sure that if you watch any of them at work, you will see that they're using a virtual machine. They love it because it masks, it changes your IP address and your MAC address completely. So even if you do get hacked, you can quickly delete it and then make a new one in an instant. Now, I'm sure that you'll be more safe online because of my insights on this. And I hope that one day the internet will be a safe place where we can all explore freely. But that will only be possible the day we learn about digital citizenship and start practicing it. Thank you. 